So you might have heard of this thing in Australia called the Health Star Rating System. It's a star rating that gets put on the front of food products that indicate if that is a healthy food or not. Now it's extremely important to look at this system because people are choosing their foods that they're eating and the foods that their family and their children are eating based on that number, what they should and shouldn't eat in terms of health. Now it's been around for a few years, but I can't help but look at that and know that something is completely off behind how these decisions are being made. Look at some of these products and I'll give you some examples. White bread and brown bread both have four to five stars on them. It's basically pure carbohydrates with some synthetic vitamins added. Those carbohydrates turn to sugar in the bloodstream. Even though it's not listed as sugar, it behaves in the body just the same as if you're consuming sugar. Not only are we talking about the blood sugar, but also the anti-nutrients the bread contains, phytic acid and lectins, those things are contained in grains and seeds. Another big culprit are the cereals. I've seen some terrible cereals being marked as four and a half stars. We're talking like 20% sugar in these products and they're getting a high star rating. And you know what people are told? that these whole grains are good for your gut because of the fiber. It's absolute nonsense. Fiber just irritates the gut. Yet these products are getting a high star rating even though they're just pure carbohydrate foods loaded with sugar and all these anti-nutrients. Let's look at good old Milo here. This is a favorite of Australians. Everyone here talks about Milo, good for energy and they associate it with sports and kids growing up. And you'll see here that it's got a four and a half star rating. Absolute joke. If you look at the percentage of sugar in this when there's no water added, it's almost 50% sugar. And all of the vitamins you see listed in there are just synthetic additives. They're not real. They're just added there to make this look like a health food. And you'll notice this label, it's very, very deceptive. You'll notice they highlight protein as if is if you can get protein from a sugar-based food. There's hardly any protein in this. It's all just a carbohydrate type of food with sugar. They've made a large list of nutrients in here to distract you. And see, normally sugar is listed in the 100 gram column. So that way you can easily see a percentage of the sugar in there. But they've purposefully moved that over more towards the left so that it's more difficult to find. A lot of parents would glance at this and just look at the, the milk column and just think, oh, there's just some sugar in there. It looks okay, they think. This is deception. And this food has almost 50% sugar. Absolutely disgusting. It should not have two stars, let alone four or five stars on it. Some other ones I had to look at here were the cereals and the, the margarines that lower your cholesterol absorption or lower your cholesterol. Absolute joke. You know, I think almost everybody now knows that cholesterol has nothing to do with heart disease. A raised cholesterol is a symptom of people that are doing other inflammatory lifestyle choices like smoking or consuming large amounts of carbohydrate. People should not be focusing on reducing cholesterol. Look at the star rating on this margarine. Now this is vegetable oil. Vegetable oil that's been hydrogenated so it goes more like a butter consistency. It's basically trans fat and it's very inflammatory, likely rancid, very inflammatory, terrible for your body. This is not the type of fat you should be eating. This is the sort of thing that will give you heart disease. This will block your arteries. It's ironic that they're telling us the complete opposite of what the truth is. Look at all this grass-fed butter. Now this is what you should be eating. This is good for you and it's not gonna give you heart disease. It's quite sad that unfortunately, natural healthy foods like this grass-fed butter, they don't put a health star rating on them because they'd probably get just one star because of the saturated fat in there. Again, some vegetable oil here, terrible for your body. Don't consume this. This is why people are unhealthy. This is why people get heart disease. All these vegetable oils. Use butter. Use old-fashioned dripping. Use animal fats. 
they're not inflammatory. That's the most important factor. They're not inflammatory. They have a much better omega-3 ratio, although I would be sticking to grass-fed products such as um, grass-fed butter, grass-fed beef fat, because they will be much higher in the omega-3s. So you can see all these unhealthy products have high star ratings and healthy products have a low star rating. So it makes you wonder, why is this the case? What's going on here? All these traditional foods that are healthy for us have never given us disease in the past. They've always been healthy for us when humans have evolved in the traditional diets, indigenous diets. They included a lot of these sort of foods but suddenly now they're unhealthy. What's going on? I wanted to dig deeper, so let's have a look at the website. You can go to healthstarrating.gov.au. The first question I think is, who's making these decisions? Obviously, these decisions should be made by somebody outside of industry. Okay, I noticed something under here under acknowledgements. So I want to dig around and find out who's making these decisions. Now, these people are behind the design. They disclose who is behind it, the development of this system, the design, implementation. Now, I noticed this one here, the Australian Food and Grocery Council. So if we do a Google search for that, come across this website. Now, we should look for who is contributing or who is a member, or who's on the board. So let's have a look who's on the board of directors. Now remember, these are people influencing and designing our health rating system for the health of Australian people and telling Australian people what to eat. Mars, Wrigley, Confectionery Australia, the treasurer, Nestle Australia, I'm assuming Nestle is an international brand. Everyone knows about this. Nestle basically makes sugar-based junk. Sugar foods, grain-based foods, it's garbage. It's just high profit. They are behind it. The chair. Who else have we got? Coca-Cola. These are people making the decision for this health star rating system. Unbelievable. So if you're an Australian, take this advice don't look at the star rating system it's corrupt and you should not be basing your food choices on the profits of big companies like nestle and uncle toby's coca-cola wrigley's you shouldn't base your decisions on these these star ratings have been put in place based on their profits and their influence on this system so if you're still confused about what choices you should be making I recommend you subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding videos very soon about choices you can make in order to be healthy and grow healthy children and fix any of the health issues you have, whether it be weight loss, tooth decay, acne, whatever it is. And thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.